Chiefs Kingdom, I'm recovering. I know you're still recovering. It was a tough loss to the Tennessee Titans on Sunday, but we got to rally the troops. We got to come together. That's what the Kingdom does. Subscribe to the brand new Chiefs channel. We're going to do a watch party here on the main Chat Sports YouTube channel, but only if we get to 250 subscribers on our Chiefs channel. We're almost at 200. Let's get to 250 by next Monday night so we can do a watch party, watch the Chiefs vs. Chargers Monday night football game together. Chatsports.com slash Chiefs. It'll redirect you to our brand new Chiefs channel. Hit the red button, and let's get into those Chiefs news and rumors. There were positives from the loss in Tennessee. A lot of negatives, but there were positives. The obvious one being Patrick Mahomes is back, guys. Are you kidding me? 446 yards, three touchdowns, no turnovers. The knee and ankle, I didn't even notice anything. The mobility was not an issue. He looked like himself, looked like the reigning MVP uh, winner to me. He said after the game, the knee is feeling fine. He's fifth in pass yards, fourth in touchdown passes this season, despite missing two and a half games. Here was the full quote after the game saying, quote, the knee's feeling fine, just as we expected going into the game. The ankle is good. We knew we needed to rest the ankle. We knew we needed some days off. So with having the knee, I got to rest that ankle. I was able to play and do what I could do, and I don't have any pain there. So ironically, suffering the dislocated kneecap kind of benefited him in the long run because he was able to rest that ankle, which I had been saying for weeks was a bigger problem than people wanted to admit. And we saw on the field what a healthy Patrick Mahomes can do. 446 yards, three touchdowns against a pretty good Titans defense, 36 of 50. It's a shame they lost this game because that is just wasting a brilliant performance by the best quarterback in the NFL, in my opinion. Now the big question is, he's missed two and a half games, but you see the numbers at the bottom there. Fifth in pass yards, fourth in TD passes. Can he still win the MVP? Type Y for yes, type M for no. I think he can. The, the, the problem is at six and four, the Chiefs got to start winning some games. They got to be one of the clear front runners in the AFC. Mahomes is going to put up the numbers. Are they going to win enough for him to win it? You got guys like Lamar Jackson, Russell Wilson, Aaron Rodgers. Those teams have better records and they're playing really well. I think he's still in the hunt. I'm typing my Y. He still can. I wouldn't bet on it, but I still think he can. Type Y for yes if you are with me. If you want to bet on it or if you want to bet on someone else to win the MVP, you got to do it with BetDSI. Chatsports.com slash bet. Use our promo code NFL120. You want to bet on Mahomes to win the MVP? Go for it. Got to do it at BetDSI. You'll get that 120% deposit bonus. I'll say this. Bet the over every week with the Chiefs because – just when you think the defense has taken a step, they give up 35 points to the Titans. So go to chatsports.com slash bet. Use BetDSI. Get that 120% deposit bonus with promo code NFL120. It's the best deal out there. Guys, I mentioned it. I said it last week. Maybe I'm fake news. I thought this defense had taken a step forward. Are you kidding me? 35 points to the Titans? You can't stop Ryan Tannehill late? You get trucked by Derrick Henry, 188 yards and two touchdowns. And again, you totally waste a big-time perfor performance from Patrick Mahomes coming off two pretty significant injuries. It's disgusting that your quarterback can throw for 450 yards and lose. I don't get how it happens. You look at the offensive stats against Tennessee in this game, and you're wondering, how do you lose this game? 78 plays, 530 yards, 433 passing were 50% on third down. You held the ball for 38 minutes. <laughs> I mean, 38 minutes and you lose to Tennessee and give up 35 points. Here were the defensive stats. Gave up 371 yards. Not terrible. 225 rushing. Horrible. This team sucks against the run. I thought they had turned a corner against Dalvin Cook last week. They took two steps back against Derrick Henry. They gave up seven and a half yards per play against Ryan Tannehill and Derrick Henry. Two of eight on third down is pretty good, but only one takeaway. This team doesn't force turnovers. It's a big problem. I've harped on it. I'm going to continue to harp on it. You put it side by side, and you ask yourself, how do you lose this game? You run 29 more plays. You gain 160 more yards than Tennessee. You Patrick Mahomes throws for 300 more yards than Ryan Tannehill. 300 more yards and you lose. You have the ball for 38 minutes. You only had one turnover, which, by the way, Brutal fumble by Damian Williams that's run back for a touchdown. That was a big play in this game. But look at those numbers. How do you lose? It's mind-boggling. Think about this. Tennessee had a 4th and 17 at their own 32 at the two-minute warning, down five points, didn't get it, and still won. 
because the special teams made two blunders in the final minutes of the game. It's absolutely brutal. If you look at the AFC playoff picture, this was a bad loss because with Baltimore winning, you're a game and a half back of them now. Houston, you lost to them head-to-head. -head. They were off this week. You're a half game back, but really you're a full game back because you lost to them head-to-head. -head. Luckily, Buffalo lost. It doesn't really matter. They're not going to chase the Patriots in the AFC East. But you look at uh, the Steelers, the Raiders, those teams are coming up at 5-4. and four. It's going to be tough sledding in the AFC playoff picture. You're only a game up on Oakland in the West. Like, things are getting tight in the AFC playoff race. Big missed opportunity against Tennessee. Very disappointing loss. But I still believe, I want to ask you guys, are the Chiefs Super Bowl contenders? Type KC if you think they are. Let's get the KCs rolling in the comments section. With this offense, you're going to have a chance every single week. But the defense just has to be better. Can it be average, please? Can it be not horrendous against the run? Derrick Henry is just bouncing off tacklers left and right. Juan Thornhill had maybe his first rookie moment where he tried to tackle Derrick Henry low and just had no chance on a 65-yard touchdown run. But let's get the KCs going. If you think the Chiefs are still Super Bowl contenders, I still believe, but you got to get better on defense. Speaking of defense, one of your best players appears to be playing her as he's been battling a neck injury this season. Of course, that is Frank Clark. He said after the game he, he suffered a pinched nerve in his neck during training camp. He's missed a co couple of games this year, but he's picked things up after a slow start, and maybe the neck problem is starting to go away because he only had one sack to the first five or six games. Last two weeks, he has three sacks. So Frank Clark is playing a lot better. He's playing through some stuff, as he said after the game. He's frustrated. These are the uh, number, or This is the quote, I should say, from Clark after the game saying, I've been paying th playing through it. This is on the pinch nerve, of course. It just got to a point where the shit was so serious, I was sending burning sensations down my arm. My effing two fingers were going numb. I had to take precautions, get checked out, and make sure everything that I was doing football-wise wasn't going to affect my life after football. So he sat those couple of games out. I guess they've decided he can play through it right now. And the production has increased. He's got four sacks now through... What is it, 10 games? That's a decent number. He might push for double digits. He's got three sacks the last couple of weeks, only the six tackles for loss. He certainly hasn't been that $100 million player that they paid for in the offseason, but he's starting to play better. Chris Jones being back helps a lot as well. He's playing really well right now. Hopefully he continues to get healthier and healthier and plays at a high level because the back seven of that defense is struggling mightily. Now, today's show is brought to you by My TV Choice. I'm going to be watching Monday Night Football tonight. Seahawks and the 49ers should be a good one, right? But when it goes to commercial, you're always dreading it. You don't want to watch those insurance ads or those stupid dating ads. Download the My TV Choice app, chatsports.com slash MyTV. This is what happens. You download it, it's going to sync to your TV, and you're going to get sports content from us during commercials. It replaces commercials during major sporting events. You want to watch sports updates instead of that stupid uh, Gecko, Geico, Gecko, whatever you want to call it, running around? It's the My TV Choice app. You're going to get sports content from us and other outlets. Download it today, chatsports.com slash MyTV. Bad injury news. It continues to pile up for Kansas City. Emmanuel Ogba looks like he's done for the year. Haven't received official word, but can't, or Andy Reid said after the game he tore his pec, which means it's going to be about a five-month recovery. So he is done for the year. And it's disappointing because he was having a breakout season. Had five and a half sacks this year. Was actually leading the team in sacks, which nobody saw that coming. Of course, Chris Jones, Frank Clark have been banged up some, so that's a big reason why. Now Ogba's banged up, and he is out for the rest of the season. The injuries continue to pile. This is what he had done this year, the 32 tackles, those five-and-a-half sacks I mentioned. Has a forced fumble, six tackles for loss. Disappointing into the season for Emmanuel Ogba. Disappointing for the Chiefs, too, which that front four has been about the only good position group on that defense, and it just got a little bit thinner. But I mentioned all the injuries piling up. Think about this. I've got 10 guys up here who have missed at least two games, and a lot more have missed a game as well, Frank Clark being uh, – not Frank Clark, a couple of other guys being one of them. Patrick Mahomes, these are five guys on offense who have missed at least two games. Mahomes missed two and a half games. Tyree Kill missed, what, four games with the shoulder problem? Sammy Watkins missed two games earlier in the season. Damian Williams has missed two games. Eric Fisher hasn't played in like six weeks. Your left tackle. Nobody's talking about that. Here are some guys on defense. Chris Jones missed about a month. Frank Clark missed a couple of games. He continues to play through injury. Alex Okafor's missed a couple of games. He's still out. Kendall Fuller has the hand injury. He hasn't played in a month. 
Xavier Williams is on IR, one of your key defensive tackles. There are injuries piling up everywhere, and I know every team deals with this, but the amount of key players for Kansas City that have missed time and they're still 6-4 and four, should be 7-3 and three if you don't have a total collapse against Tennessee this past week. So overall, it's still a net positive. You got Mahomes back. You're hoping to get more healthy. Eric Fisher should come back at some point as well. But speaking of the defensive linemen, who's going to lead the Chiefs in sacks? It's not going to be Emmanuel Ogba. He's out for the year. Chris Jones has five. Frank Clark has four. Type C for Chris Jones. Type F for Frank Clark. If you think it's somebody else, I don't think it is at this point. Let me know, but type your C, type your F if you think it's Chris Jones or Frank Clark. I think it'll be Chris Jones when it's all said and done. He's the best player on this defense. Last one here, last note here, kind of a bizarre situation. LaShawn McCoy was a healthy scratch against the Titans yesterday. And Andy Reid said after the game, there was a longer quote, but essentially LaShawn's not getting any younger. And NFL Network also reported that this was a predetermined rest week which is kind of weird. This isn't the NBA. You're, you're not playing 82 games, three, two, three, four games a week. You have 16 of these. Like, I'm not saying running back is a super critical position for the Chiefs. Damian Williams ran the ball fine yesterday despite the fumble, but do we really need to rest a, a key player during one of these games? You're in the middle of an AFC playoff hunt. This is what he's done this year. He's averaging over five yards a carry. It'd be nice to have LaShawn McCoy available against the Tennessee Titans. I like Darwin Thompson's potential, but he's a sixth round rookie for a reason. Like, I would much rather have LaShawn McCoy getting those snaps than Darwin Thompson. Hopefully he comes back. He only played six snaps last week, by the way. So he's basically had two weeks off here as LaShawn McCoy. I'm not sure if there's something more going on there. I'm going to put my investigative hat on and see if I can get to the bottom of this. But last two weeks have certainly been bizarre for Shaden McCoy. Seems like I've asked this several times this year. Who's the best running back on this team? I mean, Damian Williams last week ran really well. Ran pretty well this week, but has a critical fumble. That was a big difference in the game. Let me know who you think the best running back on this team is. And remember, subscribe to our brand new Chiefs channel, chatsports.com slash Chiefs. It'll redirect you. Hit that big red button, and I'll see you next time.